South Korea has rapidly emerged as the place hardest hit by the coronavirus outside of China, where the disease originated from. More than half of South Korea's cases are linked to a controversial Christian sect called the Shincheonji Church of Jesus. The organization, with an estimated 215,000 followers in South Korea alone, was founded and is still run by this man, 88-year-old Lee Man-hee. Believers think Lee is the second coming of Jesus Christ, who will take 144,000 people with him to heaven on Judgment Day. The church's name, Shincheonji, is itself an abbreviation of the Korean words meaning new heaven and new earth. Now, believers regard themselves as modern successors to the ancient tribes of Israel, and that membership is necessary to become part of God's kingdom. The church itself was founded in 1984, but remains exceptionally secretive. There are reports of clandestine Bible study groups and even undercover churches hidden from official government records. Critics, including some from more mainstream churches, complain Shincheonji has an aggressive approach to recruiting members. Their so-called harvesters go to other Christian churches, take part in prayer sessions there, and engage in other activities to woo away ordinary believers. Shim claims the church has some 20,000 followers in about 30 other territories. This supposedly includes Japan, China, Hong Kong, and other countries in Southeast Asia. Now, South Korean authorities attribute the outbreak in the southern city of Daegu to a 61-year-old infected woman who attended a prayer service attended by about 4,500 people. They regard this as a super-spreading event, since members are reportedly tightly packed into rooms at prayer services. The church also has operations in Wuhan in China's Hubei province, the epicenter of the coronavirus outbreak. But it remains unclear whether members traveled from Wuhan to South Korea in the early stages of the outbreak. A local member said it was unlikely the church had caused the spread of the disease. We are aware of all the negative reporting out there after the outbreak in South Korea, but we do not want to defend ourselves in public because that will create trouble with the government. We just want to get through the crisis first. On February 25th, the church said it would help authorities combat the virus by providing them with the names of all of its South Korean members. The government is now checking that list. But in a country where in less than a month there are already more than 1,200 coronavirus infections and at least 12 deaths, is it too little, too late?